Good morning. So this morning brings me to Omeath, just over the border from Newry. And I wasn't actually planning on coming down here this morning, but I went into the shop where I got the bike serviced uh, to collect the water bottle. Because uh, mine's, mine's damaged and old now, so I got a new one. And I was actually going to go up to one of the forests in a place called Bestbro. But the, the lad in the shop said to me, have I tried this this uh, path? Which eventually will go all the way to Carlingford, but up to now it comes up to a meath. So I said I, I hadn't, so I thought I'll try it. So I got up this morning, it was cracking the flags this morning. But it, uh, it's gone a bit cloudy now, but it didn't take me too long. Now the sign says 10 miles from here to Newry, so um, sorry, 10 kilometers. So it's about six miles here. Uh, it's fairly flat. There's only um, there's only a slight hill really, and that'll be going back. But it was a nice, easy cycle this morning. Not too many people about. Uh, the weather's weather's calm. There's no wind. I don't know whether we're getting any rain or not today, like. But so far it's been dry. But uh, a lovely cycle, and looking forward to when that the path fully opens, because you can go all the way up to Carlingford Lock there, which is a uh, it's just lovely in the summer. It's lovely all year round, like, but it's uh, it's it's, uh, it's buzzing in the summer. But it's nice and peaceful down here, and uh, I'm glad I got out this morning. So I'll take you back to the beginning of the cycle and uh, show you what it was like to to get to Omeath. help and support the channel grow hit the thumbs up subscribe and click that notification bell or just like this fella here raise your hand and say hello so we've just started the the greenway i think it's called uh, so this path will take us or should take us to a meet I think it's about 10 kilometers, so we'll see how we get on. So far I've passed one person out walking his dog. Um, such a lovely quiet path this one. And um, there's no obstacles, just on the, the left of me you've got the road going over to Warren Point. And on the right of me here you've got the road that takes you into Omeath, which is just crossing over the border. Um, which is a, two both popular tourist places. But uh, so far, nice and peaceful. That river looks lovely. I think uh, a couple of years ago, someone paddleboarded right down through here to Newry Canal. Right up from, I think it was Omiti started from. It's absolutely amazing. The views around here are beautiful. And they're not even the best views, you know what I mean? Wait till you see the views when we get there.
Well, it's not a bad little spot though. There's uh, somewhere to park your car. There's a couple of picnic benches, and uh, just behind me is somewhere where you can uh, park your bikes if you want to come down for a walk. A little bit of a picnic. It's nice. Yeah, so that behind me there is the gate where the, this part of the path ends. Um, as far as I know, they're still working on it. But I think you have to jump onto the road for about a mile. Not even, I don't even think it's half a mile, to be honest with you. And then you can jump back onto the other side of the path. But um, it's a nice little place for a, a quick stop off, a five, ten minute break. But we'll carry on and uh, get to our meet. So just, just over my shoulder there you'll see uh, Warren Point. So about seven years ago um, me and a couple of others paddle boarded across or from Warren Point over to this side which took about three or four minutes and nearly two hours getting back with the headwinds but um, the path that we were on that, that's where it ended and then you've just got to take the road then all the way up to, to where I am now which if you can also see behind me, it's where they're carrying on the road works. There's a little bit of a, a track up there, but eventually this path is, is going to take you all the way up to Carlingford Loch, uh, which is supposedly opening this summer. Whether it is or not, I don't know, but it didn't take too long getting here. Quite quiet. It's about, I think it's around about half seven this morning. Oh, well, it's about half seven at the minute. Um, but it was cracking the flags when I left the house this morning. It's a little bit cloudy now, but you can still see all the uh, the mountains behind me. I think they're the Mourn Mountains. But it's lovely, lovely and peaceful, lovely and quiet. But during the, the high peak of the summer, this place is absolutely packed, you know. But uh, it's lovely, isn't it? Just turn it round. That building there is the Grand Central Hotel of Omeath. Nice spot if you want to get a bite to eat. It's lovely. Well, be nice when all the all the uh, the roadworks have been done, and finished. Be a lot better than money. So this path that you see me on now goes in the direction of Carlingford Loch. However, there is a gate about 100 yards up with a padlock on it, so it does prevent you going any further. However, when I was back in Victoria Loch earlier on in the journey, you do go onto the main road for about half a mile, but on the left, there's no sign. There's a little gray gate, which you can go through. You do need to cross a field about 10 meters and then climb over or lift your bike over onto the path, which will then eventually take you up to the Grandview Hotel in Omeath. I would like to say though, when you do join the road of Victoria Lock, be very careful because it is a very busy main road. Right, so I'm just cycling back, back to uh, what I thought was the road and there's a whole section of the path I missed. So when you come off the road and then cycle down, there must be a little exit because there's just been a cyclist past me, but I say I've never been on this path before, so I don't know where where the entry points are like but there's just been a cyclist past me there now so there must be somewhere where you can get out out here so we'll have a little look uh, what is there because this is what I'm looking at now so he must have come from somewhere all right 
right now. Yeah, so I'm actually right staying at the ferry port now of Warren Point, which I'll turn the camera around, you should be able to see. Well, you learn new things every day. I say I've just come right down the road, I didn't even know this part was here. So we'll see where it goes. Yeah, I definitely missed all this out on the way down. But um that's how close I am now to the ferry port. You see when I when I uh was told about this place i asked two people and they said oh one person said oh you can you can only go so far and you have to jump on the road and then the other person said oh no there's only a a slight break but i didn't find the other entry point so i just carried on the road but i'm glad i've come back this way now Am I on the right path here? Yeah? Cheers, Bob. So I'm on the on the path on the way back. I've just come up across across a couple of little hills. But I've had to slow down because there's about, I don't know, about 20 sheep in front of me. So I'll just wait until they've gone past and then uh, I can scoot down again. I don't know if you can see them from here like Morning. That's the first, I think, and only bridge I've come to, come to on the way there and back, so not bad. I have to say, I'm glad. I'm glad I took a chance back there, no me can come down this path because I, I totally missed all this on the way down and it's absolutely amazing. So then after finding the right gate, jumping back on the road for about half a mile, I'm back again at Victoria Lock where I'll join the path then that takes me straight back to Newry. And done. There you go, Newry, Tuomeath, and back, done.